guys, what's up? It is Kat and welcome back to another Book Addicts Rehab Tuesday Talks. So last week was kind of just like a catch up where this week it actually has a main focus. And this main focus is books that I've read in 2015 that I particularly did not enjoy. Some of them are going to come to a shock to you. Some of them are not because I kind of explained that I didn't really like them in like some of the book reviews and everything. So let's just get into the books that I particularly did not like in the year of 2015. So the first book, please do not kill me for putting this book in my least liked for 2015, is Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare. I do not know why I am struggling with this series. I haven't yet gotten into the second book. The ending to this book pissed me off so freaking much to the point where I just don't even want to continue with the series. But I'm still hoping that I'm going to get the second and third book in before the end of the year. The second book I don't think is a shock because I think I said it in the review that I didn't particularly like this book. And that is Alienated by Melissa Landers, I believe. I loved the idea of the book. I loved book cover. That's probably one of the reasons why I bought it. But I think I was comparing it to the Lux series just a bit too much to the point where I was expecting, I had high expectations for Alienated when I went into it. I was thinking, okay, another Alien book. Awesome. Because I'd actually just picked this up after finishing the Lux series for the third time. And it just wasn't that spectacular. I took the, I'm considering reading the next book, but I'm not too gung-ho to go out and buy the next book. I mean, if somebody gave it to me for Christmas or something, I'd absolutely read it. This next book might still come to a little shock to people. It was a book that many booktubers did like, and I'm not saying that it was an awful book. It was actually a really good book. I particularly, it just didn't reach my top 10 for 2015, even though 2015 is not over yet. But it's pretty dang close, and it still wouldn't reach my top 10. And that is Rebel Bell by Rachel Hopkins. I thought it was a really good book. It was a good book. I enjoyed the characters, and I enjoyed the idea behind assassins and like a kick-ass main character. But I don't know, it still just didn't reach into me like it did with some people. I am still planning on picking up the second book, Miss Mayhem. But I'm not too, like, alienated. I'm not too bit in big of a rush to get the second book yet. This book, I think I actually, like, burnt it because of the fact I did not like it that much. It kind of reminded me of when I read To Kill a Mockingbird. And I hated that book. I'm sorry to you classicals out there. My classics is Shakespeare. I love anything Shakespeare and old, like, old literature like that but when you get into American classics I have a problem with them. Mark Twain is one of them. But anyways moving on with my little rant I did not like Wither by Lauren DeStefano. I am sorry I just I hated it. I absolutely hated it and then I thought mm, maybe the second book is better. Maybe it's like Cinder again. Maybe it's just the first book that's awful. No. I started the second book and I had to put it down 20 pages in because I couldn't stand the series. I just couldn't stand it. I didn't like where she was going with it. And I don't think I am ever going to finish this series. Ugh! So much frustrations with this book. I didn't like it. Plain and simple, guys. Plain and simple. The next book that I particularly did not like, and a lot of people have actually agreed with me, or at least I agree with them, and that is The Infinite Sea by Rick Yancey. Loved the fifth wave. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. I'm not saying The Infinite Sea was a bad book. It wasn't. But like many, I just didn't. It was, you know, though it's the second book in a series. And sometimes the second book gets a little, it didn't meet my par of 2015 favorite books. And the last book that I have to show you that really didn't reach my favorites in 2015 is Meant to Be by Lauren Morrill. We all know that I'm not a contemporary reader and that books that I tend to read that are contemporary I end up not liking. Like Fangirl. I loved Fangirl except I still didn't like it just because it's more, it still was a contemporary. I have serious issues with contemporary books. I think I'm going to like them but every time I pick one up I actually don't like them. 
So it's like, what the heck is wrong with me? I'm obviously not a contemporary reader, or maybe I just haven't found the right contemporary book yet. I just did not like where Meant to Be was going at all. Didn't like the ending, didn't like the characters, didn't like the plot. 